I'm Jared DeAnda, welcome back to another episode of Snap-on Tools from the Ground Up. This Factory 5 Mark IV Challenge race car is quickly becoming just that. We dropped the engine, we fired it up, and we're about to put the body on the chassis. By the end of the day, this car is gonna be ready for Joey Logano to rip around. All right, Tony, we've dropped the engine, we've fired it up. Where are we at at this point in the process? So Jim's gonna finish up wiring the dash. I think he's got a tack module to do. We can actually get the body on once we do the seats. So getting really, really close. Working outside of your shop, it's gotta be a little difficult, but Big Red does help you. It's kind of a one-stop tool shop. It is, I mean, it's not the first time we worked with it, but yeah. it's super easy. I mean, everything's are laid out, all the foam's laser cut, so it's hard to lose tools. At the end of the day today, body's gonna be on. Next stop after that, Joey Logano will be showing up in this deuce deuce. We have his number on it, so why not? Uh, where's the keys? Right there. Right there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> So this is basically a replica of a 60s design Roadster. For us, it's by far the most popular. We do about 500 of these a year, probably 350 of them are this style. Really trying to be as authentic as we can, but then with this model, which is the race car, we try and add all of the modern running gear and the safety equipment underneath without really spoiling the look of the car. To me, this is one of the most fun cars we make just because you can use it so many ways. You can race it wheel to wheel, you can use it for track days, you can drive it to the track, drive it around the track and then drive it home. Basically put headlights and wire up your taillights, put a windshield on it and it's a street car too. You still get the open air, everything of the original car plus the track day car. To me, this is one of the most fun cars we make. Thanks for coming back, helping us out. Glad to be here. You need headlights. You need to see if you're at night. Sometimes I just close my eyes and hope for the best though, but I will go with the headlights, that's good. I'm gonna assume that is an absolute lie. You, have, you, have, you, have, you haven't gotten to where you're at. Well, see, are you riding with me when we're done with this thing? Yeah, I'm gonna close my eyes. It might be a good idea for but you. But I'm, I'm not gonna have the wheel in my hand. Well, uh, Tony and Jim are here to help us out. They've drilled some holes. I have the quick change bit ratchet, low profile head, LED light, variable speed, so slow or fast. But uh, that's a new product from Snap-on Tools. There you go, Joey. Look at you. Professional headlight installer. That's tight. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There she is. Cool. Nice. Right on, man. Nice headlights. Yeah, looking good. Next time we see you, it'll be at the racetrack. I like that. All right. It's body time. What's the plan of attack? Uh, a couple guys. Two in the front, two in the sides, one in the back. Weighs about 100 pounds. So it Sweet. should be pretty easy. I can do this myself. You actually can, yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and put this body on. Make it look good. Let's do it. One, two, three. Wow, this is super light. So light. Keep going down because you gotta go on. There you go. Deuce, deuce. Nice. Sweet. That's pretty. Good job, homeboy. Pretty, pretty. You're using the thermal imager there. What are you checking out? When he keeps this thing running, I can see if the fluid's all flowing the way it should. Yeah. You know, make sure it's coming up to temperature, make sure the thermostat's opening. The other thing that's kind of nice about this, I can make sure it's firing on all eight cylinders because I can see if every single one of those pipes is glowing hot. You know, we're just kind of checking it out, but this thing really gives you a good idea of what's working that you can't see. Dude, the screen is massive. You could see everything, but also uh, I saw you take a video as well. First, I took a picture because I can't really get my head down yeah. in there, so I slipped it down in there, and then I take a video so if I can go back if I miss something. Everything looking good? It is. It is. We're coming up the temperature nice. Looks like all our fluid's flowing, so I think we're good to go. <laughs> Sweet. Well, one thing missing. Uh, 
Rims and tires, are they on yet? Are we, are we, are we good to go? Yeah, we need some wheels. Yeah, we need some wheels. Yep. Coming over here, you're finishing up mounting these tires. They're gonna eventually go on this awesome vehicle here, but elaborate on your brand new Snap-on Tools tire machine. It's one of the best tire machines I've ever used. It'll do practically anything we need it here in the shop, from ATV tires, small wagon tires, to the tires on Joey's bus. The adjustable jaws slide out yep. so you can accommodate up to a 22 inch rim. It's got a composite offset. If you're putting them on composite rims, aluminum rims, Chrome. Something Doesn't chrome, damage chrome. Anything that you yeah. don't want to mar up. It's That's awesome. Fantastic. This is a hard sidewall tire. The beat assist right here, without these beat assist, it pushes it down yeah. into the zone where you can snap the tire on. Without that, we would have probably had to ship them out to have these <laughs> tires mounted, so. Well, now it looks like yeah, you got one uh, in the shop. We're good to go here. All right, well, let's wrap it up. Alrighty. and then uh, yeah, we're we're gonna, just, we mounted this side. We're finishing it up right there. It looks great. It looks crazy. And it's crazy to think this was just a chassis three days ago. I know. It's like we just stood back and we're actually <laughs> looking at it. We're like, wow, three days. It looks awesome, man. I mean, just little details like I was admiring the pearl finish, little carbon bits here and there. And what's cool for Factory 5 is customers can buy this car. If people like this car, they can go to Factory 5 and make their kind of version of it. I mean, I think this is the only car we've probably built in the last 18 years is a challenge car, so yeah. it's pretty cool to us to have a race car back in the building. Next stop for this thing, go get some gas. First and foremost, let's fill her up. And then Charlotte Motor Speedway, where we're gonna rendezvous with the number 22, Joey Logano. Right on. Thanks for watching this episode of Snap-on Tools from the Ground Up. Be sure to like, share, and comment below on which one of our Snap-on Tools from the Ground Up vehicles you'd like to get behind the wheel of. The A18C, the Type 65 Coupe, or the Mark IV Challenge race car. Comment below. Yeah.